Hi, YouTubers and whatchevers everywhere. It's MarvetGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, this time around, a brand new shaving soap. Well, it's a brand new shaving soap to me, but it's loved the world over by wet shavers everywhere. Now, my uh, brother Tom and sister-in-law Lori, Tom and Lori, my brother Tom and his wife Lori, uh, gave me a gift card. So I had a little bit of money burning in my pocket. So uh, naturally, and by the way, thanks Tom and Lori. Uh, so what I did was I went up to Maggard Razors and I got Mitchell's Wool Fat Soap. There it is. Yes, the real McCoy, the authentic thing. This is loved by wet shavers the world over. And it has um, natural lanolin in it. It comes out of Bradford, Yorkshire, England. And uh, we're going to shave with it. So let's open it up and take a look at it uh, and see what it looks like. Maggards did a really nice job of sending it along. Got here in a timely fashion. I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Comes in a ceramic dish, I believe. Ceramic bowl. Oh, look at that. It's nicely wrapped up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. And it's got, it's sealed, so we're gonna have to break this plastic off here. Oh, okay, good, we don't have to use the knife, which is nice. Really nice ceramic bowl, very, very nice. And there it is, ooh. A little bit of, boy, they really packaged this well, didn't they? There is a little bit of that right there. Oh, and it comes nicely wrapped. Boy, this is nice. There's the size of the puck. And they also have some more cushioning in here in the bottom of the bowl. Like that. Very nice. So this gets unwrapped and it gets set in there. And that sits on there like that. Isn't that nice? Really, really very nice. Now, uh, I've read online in many shaving forums that many of wet shavers say that this has a bit of a learning curve in uh, learning how to lather with it. Well, we're gonna find out though, so stay tuned. We're gonna be using Mitchell's Wool Fat Shaving Soap. Let's see how it lathers. Let's see how it builds a lather. I'm gonna use the same method that I've used with all my other hard soaps with Mitchell's Wool Fat. I'm not gonna adjust anything in the procedure. So let's see how it goes. Okay, let's just take this off and let's unwrap the soap itself. Nicely, very nicely wrapped. There it is. Isn't that nice? Nice and thick, nice puck and it will just sit right in there like that. Okay, I have my AP Shaving Company uh, synthetic shaving brush with a tuxedo knot, nice and soft. This does a nice job building lathers with hard soap, so that's why I'm gonna use it. It has the faux marble handle made from very, very nice resin, so that's what we're gonna use. I've got my sink right here. You can just see the edge of it. I'm gonna go ahead and set that in some warm water there. You can hear it soaking there. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of water and I'm gonna put it on the puck. Let's just start this from my faucet here a little bit. Okay, there it is. I don't know if you can see it, just a little bit of water. That's it, that's all it is. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and let that soak on the top a little bit. I'm gonna let the brush soak because that's about all I use in the amount of water. Right there, you can see it glistening there. That's about all I use when I uh, put uh, some water onto a puck. Um, maybe a little more sometimes if it fills out these edges here and forms to the bowl a little bit better. But for the most part, that's it. That's all I'm gonna use. And I will, uh, Gonna let that sit for about oh six seven minutes and I'll be back. 
Okay, so that's been the equivalent of, of about taking a shower, six, seven minutes, eight minutes, something like that, whatever your shower is. Maybe you're a 10 minute shower person, <laughs> I don't know, but it's been about, oh, six, seven minutes. So we're all set. Again, we've got this nice little, nice little layer here. It's getting really soaked and some of the water went down the sides here because it doesn't fill out the puck. I'm sure that'll, that'll break down and expand over time. So now, I'm just gonna rinse my hand off because it is slick on that. My finger just there is very, very slick. Now I'm gonna take my brush here. You can't really see it. I'm gonna show you right here. There it is. And I'm gonna give it a shake. Hear that? And maybe another shake. And that's it. That's what I got there. So let's go ahead, lift it up, and let's see if we can build a lather here. Oop. Water spattering out. You can see some water went around the sides there. Let's see if I can just hold this in place here and see what kind of... Yeah, the water did fall down the sides, but that's okay. It's going to hold it in place. Look how it is lathering. It's really loading my brush here. Okay, so the water did fall down the sides there, but that's okay. It's grabbing the puck now, so I'm starting to get some nice cream here. Nice cream from this thin layer. Of course, it's going to depend on if your water is hard or soft. So some people say that. Mine is city water, so I don't know. I don't have a water softener, so it's just city water. So I don't know what they put in it. They soften it to some extent. I don't know. So, if I were to load it like this, I would then, this is the first time I'm using it. This is the very first time I'm using it. Load it like this, and then I would start to build a lather here. Right on my face, if this were my face. Let's, let's just use my hand here. See if we can build a lather here. Oh boy, we are getting a nice lather. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Just that little bit builds a nice, look, that builds a nice lather. Now, obviously, this is the first time I should take some off of there. Look at that, because it just, look at how much lather that's already built. Look at that. You know, <laughs> I don't think, you know, I don't think it's that hard to build a lather. Look, look how much I have here. So this is, this is just loading the brush, a little bit of water, a wet brush that is, oh, semi-wet, a good synthetic brush, and then just doing a face lather. And of course, you can add water uh, while you're building it on your face in case um, it's a little too dry, but look at, look at that. Look at the nice peak I have on that. Look at that. Look at the, look at the peak. Look at that. Beautiful. You know, I don't know why people think, why people say it's difficult to lather. This is my first time out with it, and I didn't do anything different than with any other hard soap. As a matter of fact, this is probably one of the easiest soaps to lather that I've come across. And you saw it my first time out. All I did was let it soak a little bit, and I'm good to go. So there it is. So I am really looking forward to shaving with this. And um, you know what? I really haven't. Let me just let me just let me just take a little whiff of this. And oh, that's nice and fresh. Wow, that's a really really nice fresh scent. It's a little bit. Old barber school with a little fresh edge to it. Boy, is that nice. I'm really looking forward to uh, shaving with this. It's not overwhelming either. It's not an overwhelming scent. All right, so that's it. You saw it yourself. Mitchell's wool fat. It's not that hard to, um, to lather. Of course, you know, uh, hard water, soft water. I don't know exactly what kind of water I have here in the city, but... Uh, Boy, it uh, definitely likes Mitchell's wool fat soap. So there you go. So hey, really looking forward to uh, to shaving with this. So next next step is um, is the actual shave. So stay tuned. 
Hey, thanks very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Please check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.